All right, so this is just a quick video um, to go over setting up your PayPal integration and your Stripe integration. Um, anybody that's received money via PayPal probably does not need to take this step because the IPN will have already been active in their account. So this is just for some of you that may have never received funds on PayPal or um, for whatever reason, the sales don't appear in your client management area. So when you actually trigger a sale, the, the client doesn't show up in that list. Um, and you've connected to PayPal and we'll also cover Stripe there's something you need to do there as well but basically we're using a service from PayPal called IPN which allows us to accept information from PayPal um, after a sale is made so effectively PayPal sends us the transaction information after the sale is made and we're able to then verify that sale and add it um, if IPN is not enabled on PayPal that will not happen uh, similarly Stripe has something called webhooks it's exactly the same principle um, after the sales, Stripe sends us the transaction information. We can then verify it and add it um, to your client management list and actually create the account and so on. But without those two um, set up, we do not uh, receive any notification of that sale and the client does not get set up, despite the fact that the payment was successful. All right, so um, I've got a Sandbox PayPal account right over here. Um, so just to check your IPN settings, if you go over to Profile and click on My Selling Tools, this might look a little different on newer versions of PayPal, but the principle is the same. You're going to look for the profile link and then look for My Selling Tools. And then if I scroll down just a little bit, you'll see Instant Payment Notifications. And if you click there on Update next to that, um, this needs to say Enabled. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about what the notification URL is. It's, that's not critical. What is critical is that this is enabled. So if it's disabled, then you're going to want to click on Turn On IPN. Mine just says Edit because I already have Message Delivery enabled. But when you click uh, Turn On, it, it's going to take you to a very similar page as this one. And um, you know, if you need a URL, you can paste this one in here. So it's members.rebrandapps.com slash PayPal slash IPN. As I say, it's not overly critical what you put in this URL. You can use this one. That's fine. We do manually send that instruction over to PayPal anyway. Um, so um, then just make sure that this receive IPN messages is ticked and then you just click save. You will have to put something in here though so I just you know you can go ahead and just use this and then you click save here and it will enable your IPN for you. Okay so that's the PayPal side of things. Now over on Stripe you need to activate your webhook. So if you go over to your account click on account settings and then you click over on webhooks I've obviously already got them set up and they're slightly different to what you would need to set up. Um, we do have a document already um, for this. So if you look over in payment integration, it says connecting your Stripe account to receive payments. And if you open up that document, it explains step by step exactly what you need to click on and exactly what you need to do. Um, but I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. So um, go back over to Stripe here. You'd click add endpoint, connect and you would paste that URL that's in the document which is members.rebrandapps.com slash stripe slash IPN and you want it on production you can say send all events you click create endpoint and then you add another one and connect and post the URL in and you'll change this to development create endpoint um, you probably don't need the development one obviously I mean you're, you I assume you'll be in, a, in live mode on stripe but um, if you did want to say, you know, for example, test a, a sale, um, you could switch it over to test mode over here um, on the Stripe account. Um, although I'm not sure that that will actually work because I think we need to be in test mode as well on our side. But you can go ahead and, and just add the webhook for, for development as well if you want to. So um, those are the two critical things. So in PayPal, it's this IPN, which is under profile, my selling tools. And on Stripe, you need to go to your account, account settings, webhooks, and make sure that that line shows up correctly here. All right. Uh, let me also include that setting up the webhook is not enough. You still need to connect your Stripe account. So over back in payment integrations here, under the specific app that you're connecting, you still need to go through this, this process here. So click on connect with Stripe. And when you finish doing this step, you're going to see um, some you know, token information here and a disconnect button. 
so so make sure that you do this step as well it's really important that you do both things so create your webhook and also connect to your stripe account